We previously saw how frontier orbitals could be used to describe the curved arrow notation of organic reactivity. And here what we want to do is to make a connection between frontier orbitals and the curved arrow notation that's used to describe resonance contributors. The yellow box reminds you of the idea of resonance contributors in which we're really looking for alternative configurations of delocalized electrons in organic molecules. Let's look at some examples. In the first case, we've got a pi bond next to a carbocation, and we could draw a resonance contributor in which the pi bond is donated into that empty atomic orbital that's adjacent to it. From the standpoint of frontier orbitals, we might describe this interaction as a pi donating into an empty atomic orbital centered on that carbocation. In the next example, we've got a non-bonded pair of electrons on nitrogen that's adjacent to a pi bond, and we could write a resonance description that says that non-bonded pair of electrons is being donated into that pi bond. The pi bond breaks, and so we might describe the frontier orbitals involved in this resonance contributor as resulting from an n to pi star type electron donation. In the third example, we have an unpaired single electron adjacent to a pi bond, and so we could describe that in an alternative electron configuration in which that single electron is interacting with that pi bond. We could describe this as a type of non-bonding electrons that's donating into the low-lying pi star orbital. So from these examples, we get ideas that there's a connection, again, between curved arrows and frontier orbitals. Let's just take a look at a few more examples. In this case, we've got the pi bond that's being moved onto an electronegative oxygen atom, and so that must involve a pi bond as the filled orbital, and the atom that's accepting those electrons is the oxygen, and so there must be an empty orbital, an empty atomic orbital on oxygen that accepts that pair of electrons. We've already seen this next description. That's a pi to A type uh, interaction. And an in the case of this carbonyl that might be, say, protonated with a positively charged oxygen, we could move that pi bond onto that positively charged oxygen and write an alternative electron description of that. And that would be an, another example of a pi to A type interaction. In the last case, what we have is a, a non-bonding pair of electrons on nitrogen that can be donated into the adjacent pi bond of the carbon-nitrogen bond. And so in this case, we break the pi bond, and so this is an example of n to pi star type interaction.